Education President, and this evening I'd like to talk to you first congratulating all the board members of their return and those that are new. Um, that we really, right now, even though the election is over, we really need to move forward and prioritize what needs to be done. And what I need everyone to focus on is that we are in a teacher shortage. 140 teacher openings right now in Berkeley County. Many high schools, elementary schools, and middle schools are missing science, math, and English teachers. I think it's important that although we have many resolutions that will be occurring this evening, to show what a priority is, is to put our students first and make sure that quality teachers are available for all of them. Out of executive session, Ms. Littleton, you're recognized. Mr. Chairman, I make a motion to terminate the employment of Dr. Tiffany Richardson as a in-house general counsel for Berkeley County School District. Wow. And retain well, services. No, we're going hey, we, to maintain order in this meeting. No. And retain the services of Mr. Brandon Gaskins effective immediately as discussed in the executive session. All right, listen up. We're going to be respectful during this meeting. You may disagree with our votes, but I'd ask that you please be professional and calm. What kind of example are you setting for our kids disrupting a meeting like this? No, we're going to be responsible and we're not going to be disruptive of this meeting. All right, Ms. Littleton, can you please repeat your motion? Let me repeat my motion. Yes, please. Mr. Chairman, I make a motion to terminate the employment of Dr. Tiffany Richardson as in-house general counsel for Berkeley County School District and retain the services of Mr. Brandon Gaskins effective immediately as discussed in executive session. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Yes. Discussion. Yes. Uh, on what grounds are they? Uh, Mr. Are Mr. Bradley, you're recognized. Uh, Mr. Bradley. I'm asking the question of the person who made the motion. The person who made the motion made the motion for a reason. I'd like to know what it is. What is, what, what is the cause? I'm recognizing Ms. Bradley. You can ask that question if you'd like. What is the cause Dr. Richardson is being removed, terminated? I, I'm not going to discuss personnel matters. In in OK. Those are invoices front and back for legal fees that total $1.6 million oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. At, a, at a cost per month on average of $25,946.84 from the past legal fees. The legal fees that Dr. Richardson receives at one forty-five dollars per year is $11,000. $666, a difference of $14,000 a month, ladies and gentlemen. So if we're talking about fiscal I accountability, we if we're talking, no, I am not finished. You're not going to stop me. We have a, we if we're have talking a, about we, fiscal we accountability, have Mr. Barrow, if we, we're talking about fiscal accountability, Mr. Barrow, we where is it now? A second to call These question. individuals ran on a platform of fiscal conservatism. Where is it? Mr. Barrow, we've got a motion and a second to call the question. We'll now call the question. All in favor of Ms. Littleton's motion, please respond by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Ms. Nay. 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 The, vote, the motion carries six to three. Uh, <clears throat> Don't do it. Don't do it. Watch what's the next motion. The, the next. Watch the motion. Listen carefully. You I'm, all have been I'm sandbagged. <laughs> I make a motion to terminate the employment of Mr. Dion Jackson, the superintendent of the Berkeley County School District, effective immediately. Do we have a second? Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? It is discussion. I'd like to know who, who made the second. Mr. Henson. Mr. Who made Henson. the second? I made the motion. Mr. Henson made the second. Oh, okay. All right. Oh. We have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Yes, there's discussion, absolutely. I do not think it's unconstitutional. That is the contract. And in fact, I think this is a political witch hunt on their part.
All right, we have a motion and a second. All in favor, please respond by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Nay. Nay. The motion carries six to three. Miss, Mr. Henson, you are now recognized. Thank you. As a new board member, Mr. Henson is a part of the six-member team Dr. Hanley just referred to. We, I was not notified of any of these resolutions or, or recommendations. It is unbelievable that on the first night of a new board that such things would come up. Unbelievable. We have another motion. Unbelievable. We have Mr. another Chairman, motion. I, I make I make a motion to wait, name wait, Anthony wait. Dixon. Mr. Chairman, I make a motion to name Anthony Dixon as the new superintendent of Berkeley County School District, effective immediately, in order that Mr. Dixon be immediately successfully given this mid-year transition. I further move to authorize Dr. Dixon to immediately hire a new deputy superintendent, chief academic officer, and to further restructure and reassign his cabinet with no further board action. Second. We have a motion to name Dr. Anthony Dixon as the new superintendent of Berkeley County School District effective immediately in order that Dr. Dixon be immediately successful given this mid-year transition and the further move to authorize Dr. Dixon to immediately hire a deputy superintendent, chief academic officer, and to further restructure and redesign his cabinet with no further board action needed. Is there any discussion? Absolutely there's discussion. Could y'all close those doors? Okay, so uh, let me get this straight. When Mr. Jackson requested additional administrative assistance, there was a outcry from members of this board and individuals in the community that said it was unnecessary, that we were gonna get top heavy. And now, which we do not have a deputy superintendent, now we're gonna hire one? We're going to add to it when last year it was too much? I don't understand this. So Dr. Dixon left, and he is now in Charleston County. Why, if, if, if the board, and evidently the new members that were sworn in tonight evidently had some inkling as to what was going to occur. I wonder if there was any clandestine meetings prior to this meeting that they were privy to what was going on. Mr. Baker can ask those questions later. I don't know. But I will say this, this is a travesty. This is a travesty if the superintendent is being terminated for what cause? What cause, and let me just also say that this is unbelievable to me. If we're going to terminate, not me, if they're gonna terminate the superintendent, why not have a superintendent search? Why, why bring somebody back that may be on their side and that just be all politically upright? And you know, I, I respect the people who made some comments tonight, but this is a sham. This is a political hit job from, and this reminds me of 2016, only worse. It's, a, it's an absolute travesty. And I'm upset and I am absolutely embarrassed to be on this board. 